The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. The Monty Mole trilogy catapulted Gremlin to stardom back in the 80s. Following his dispute with the miners and the police in the first two games, we now see Monty leaping through Europe in pursuit of cash to buy a Greek island, the fictional island of Montos, no less. For those who are not aware of Monty Mole and his previous encounters, then here's a brief outline of his history. Mr. Mole was locked up by the law for taking coal in the first game, Wanted, Monty Mole, which kind of sucked, as all he was trying to do in the first place was keep warm. He managed to escape and eventually fled abroad, lying low in Gibraltar in the follow-up, Monty on the Run. Only now his safe haven has been blown, and once again we find our little underground dweller back on the run again. However, now tired of running, he wants to settle down and has his mind set on a private Greek island. Of course, these things don't come cheap, so your objective in this game is to start building up some funds and fast. One way to do this is by simply collecting the Euro checks scattered around the multitudes of screens. These might be fine for covering expenses, but you'll also need to learn how to trade in a few scarce international commodities. For example, the Mona Lisa has to be stolen, a Swiss bank opened, and a car entered into a Grand Prix. Sometimes completing a task such as these mentioned will require flying from one part of the map to another, which involves finding an air ticket and then an airport. The map of the game resembles very closely to the actual map of Europe, and your method of travel is to hop, skip and jump through the game. This also includes using trampolines for enormous leaps. The airports are found in each country and will enable you to hop into a World War I style biplane and fly off to your next international destination. The plane sequence was a decent idea and provides a completely separate minigame to the main mode of play. A welcome relief from the heavy duty jumping and dodging of the enemies in the platform screens. Here you'll find yourself flying alongside another similar plane, piloted by an intermall agent. Touching the back of the enemy plane with the propeller destroys it, earning you bonus points. Throughout your cash-raising quest, Monte is beset by the foul mutant inhabitants of Europe, and these enemies either float, patrol or leap around the screen on a preset course, removing one of your lives upon contact. As well as this, there are deadly devices which pound up and down randomly, amongst many other strange contraptions in the large game world. Now, a lot of the puzzles are frustratingly obscure, and the game itself can be exceptionally unforgiving, with moments of the, how the hell am I going to get out of this and onto the next screen for variety. Just getting out of the first country is intricate enough, involving hanging upside down and inching along a series of hooks suspended from the ceiling. So you know you're in for a rough ride with this tricky platformer. Each country is depicted with famous landmarks and personalities. France, for example, features the Eiffel Tower, amongst many other recognisable European names. Austria being particularly impressive, as there is a cable car here that carries you effortlessly through three screens of alpine terrain. Nice touch. If you can collect enough cash and are successful in solving all of the puzzles, then you can journey to Greece and do business at the island brokers. You'll then disappear after your paradise isle with a nice woman on your arm. If you don't, then unfortunately, it's off to jail. I honestly have never successfully completed this without a cheat mode, but I'd be interested to know how many of you out there have. If you're a fan of the Monty Mole series, then you'll probably really enjoy this. But even if you haven't played any of the others, but want a hugely challenging, addictive and entertaining platform game, then Off Wiedersche and Monty might just be right up your street. It's worth it just for the music alone, 
the fantastic collaboration of Rob Hubbard and Ben Daglish. Thanks for watching guys, what did you think of this game? Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. A massive thank you for your continued support and if you're not already subscribed to the channel but are enjoying the nostalgia, then hit subscribe and be notified of all upcoming videos. With loads of games on the channel playlists and more coming daily, it'd be great for you to join me on this epic journey down memory lane. Hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, bye for now.